Hello guys, welcome to my second update video on my current Unity multiplayer project. Over the past few weeks, I've slowly been implementing more features into my multiplayer game. If you don't know what I'm working on here, I'm basically working on a multiplayer game in Unity. Right now it's just a basic first person shooter, but as I work on the project more, the gameplay style I think will become more clear as I decide where I'm going to take it. So let's get into what's been added since the last update video. So the first thing I worked on was getting a simple scoreboard working. In order to do this, I need to keep track of how many times each player has died and how many kills they have. Once I did that, then I just had to update the scoreboard for every player connected to the server. Also, keeping in mind that if a player disconnects from the server, I need to remove them from the scoreboard, and if a player joins the server, their scoreboard needs to be updated with all the player's stats that were already on the server. Blah blah blah, a little UI here, a little coding there, and boom! We got a scoreboard. I also mess around with the shooting particles. Some interesting things happened with that. But anyway, I think they look better now. Probably can't even see the difference, but... You might have already seen it, but I changed the health indicator to a health bar. I think it looks good. It's not too obstructive to your view, but it's noticeable enough to see your health easily. I also like that the bar has a smooth animation when it changes. Even though these might be temporary, I made pickups look a lot cooler. I also added sound effects to them, so when you pick them up, a sound plays. Speaking of sound effects, I worked on footstep sounds. What's cool about them is that they change depending on what you're standing on. So this hard floor sounds different than walking on this wooden box that I added, or walking on grass for example. We'll get back to the grass in a minute though. The one thing that didn't seem right when I was implementing footstep sounds is that you could hear your feet walking, but you couldn't see them if you looked down. So I decided to see if I could make the player be able to see their own body and feet. After fumbling around and chopping the player's head off, I got it looking pretty good I think. By the way, the reason why there can't be a head is because the camera is right inside the head. So if it was there, then there would be weird clipping issues that look bad. You might be wondering though, I chopped the player's head off and that's not going to look right. So let me explain how it works. So. There's actually two player prefabs, one player prefab for the other players and one for the local player. This way the local player can have certain things slightly different, like having no head. There is actually a head there, it's just invisible but it still casts shadows so from your own view it looks like it's there because all you see is your shadow, right? But like I said, there's a separate player prefab for the other players so that they can have a head that you can see. A headless player running around does look pretty funny, but you should be able to see the head of other players. Okay, another thing I added was support for commands. Right now there are just a few basic commands like ammo or health or killing yourself. Most of these will only be available to admins on the server, but uh, these are good to implement early because they are very useful when testing during development. Let's use one of these commands to show another thing that I worked on, which is changing scenes. With the command slash scene and then the scene name, you can now change the scene slash level that the server is running. This handles respawning all players into the new scene as well. Okay, now you can see that we are in a completely different scene. So in this scene, you can see that I've been working on what the visuals will look like in my game. The art style is going to be low poly as that's what I'm good at. And I also have just a thing for low poly. I think it just looks cool. I have modeled some low poly trees in Blender and made a shader using Shader Graph, which is new to me, that makes the leaves move in the wind. I think it looks really good. Then there's the grass. I'm actually really happy with the look of the grass. I also modeled it in Blender, but then just rendered a flat black and white image of it and used Unity's terrain and grass system to render it. Unity's terrain and grass system applies a color to the black and white image of the grass and places it on the terrain. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue to use Uni's terrain, but I'm leaning towards it because I really like how the grass looks, and it would really make things easier because I wouldn't have to model my own terrain in Blender. So I think that's about it for new stuff that I've worked on. I hope you like these update videos I'm making to show off my progress. If you do, let me know below the like button. If you're interested in how to make multiplayer game yourself, there will also be a link in the description below the like button to a tutorial series on it. And yeah, I hope to see you in my next update video. 
Until then, thanks for watching.